Okay, so what is a temporal signal versus query? Basically, any long-running system needs communication. So signals and queries are ways to communicate to temporal workflows. So to demonstrate this, I have an airline seat booking application. So this runs a seat manager workflow. So all these seats are managed by a temporal workflow. So let me demonstrate how a signal works. So a temporal signal, you can think of it as mutating state and it's asynchronous. So you have a client here that wants to book a seat in the seat manager workflow. It sends a signal to book a seat because that's mutating the state. A seat is now going to become booked and not available anymore. So that is a signal. Remember, it mutates and it's asynchronous. Okay, a query on the other hand, just reads state and it's synchronous, okay? So let's say a client wants to get the available seats. So over here, we wanna get this seat map, which seats are available. That will be a query into the seat manager temporal workflow. Okay, so signals mutate state are asynchronous and queries read state and are synchronous. So let's look at an example here. So if I type in user one, I want to book a seat. This book operation is mutable. It mutates state in my seat manager workflow. And as you can see, this is red now. This UI reads, queries my seat manager workflow for available seats. It saw that two are booked and the rest are available. So that was a query that happened. So I hope that was clear and talk to you next time.